What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go over um, a few different things. So I got questions asking about the Dars and the Anaconda choke. So I'm gonna show you all something with the Dars. So a lot of times I hit it when the person's coming up. You know, I dive through. Now here's something that you have to watch out for with that Dars choke. So when I go here, if I'm controlling, you see how just my fingertips are here. When I'm squeezing, you're gonna put a lot of pressure on your wrist. And I've seen a lot of people break their hand. Uh, myself included, I almost broke my hand trying to do this on somebody really big and squeezing. I just had the wrong angle and it can pop your wrist. So I really want to make sure I get this hand as deep in as I can. That way it's not putting as much pressure on my wrist. That way when I squeeze, I'm good to go. So if you find it like this and you're squeezing and you feel your wrist starting to hurt, try to adjust it. So you can adjust it a few ways. So if I'm like this, I could take my hand and I could just rotate it until I can grab, I could really shoot my shoulder in, pull the person's head. But I want to make sure, again, you see how you can see my wrist here when I'm going up. If my hand's like this, think about it. When I'm lifting up, you're putting a lot of pressure on your wrist. And when you're squeezing, you can break your uh, wrist and your hand there. So I want to make sure I'm all the way through with that grip. Make sure there's no pressure on your wrist and then you squeeze. All right, now, the difference between uh, the Dars and the Anaconda choke. So the Dars choke, I'm gonna go through the armpit and then over the top. For the Anaconda choke, I'm gonna go through the neck. All right, so we'll go this way. I go through the neck, I get control, and I lock it up. And both of these are really good chokes. So if I was gonna do the Anaconda choke from uh, the turtle position, right? Maybe we're here, his elbow is really close. I could shoot it in, I could grab, and now I'm just gonna tuck and do a gator roll. And now, once we get here, I just walk in, and I try to grab his leg, and I squeeze. Now, if I was gonna do the darts choke, I would have to smash him down, get him on his side, adjust, and get control. But again, that's the difference there. The darts choke, I'm going through the armpit, and the anaconda, I'm going over top the head and then through the armpit. As always, no liabilities.